Hey everybody, it is uh, Tuesday morning, time to get ready to get back to work. It's uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, time to get my day started. And today's soap, I was at visiting up in uh, <clears throat> Casa Grande yesterday, picked up the Meissner Indian flavor, and let me go ahead and uh, quick read it to you, uh, what it says. It's actually pretty interesting, to me at least. But uh, it's a touch of India, um, capture and shaving soap. It's got essential oils of coriander seeds, lemongrass, and mint um, with ground annatto seeds. And it goes into, um, it's got organic coconut oil, organic uh, bobsaw oil. Um, then it's got cold pressed macadamia nut oil, shea butter, oil, uh, shea butter organic argon oil, organic jojoba oil. Um, and then it's got carefully selected ingredients such as black beer brewed according to the German purity law, which is, it's an old law, but it's still uh, pretty cool. I've seen some shows on it. Scotch whiskey, sheep wool fat, lime juice, Himalayan salt, goat's milk, and it just goes on. So it's, it's got a lot of stuff going on to it. I tested a lot of it last night. I was extremely impressed. Um, I'll get onto that in a minute here. I'm going to use my, my Tori. I'm going to use Fat Arley number one by Brad Sears. And aftershave, it's either going to be Latte Hair Mojada by PA or Fufu Jir. I'm not sure which. As I, uh, uh, the puck, it's 98 grams. Um, but it's a very hard puck. And it used to have an embossing of their logo. It was kind of dusted. But like I said, I tested it last night. And I didn't. Uh, it went away pretty quick, which kind of surprised me a little bit. So I'm gonna start loading. And as I load, I'm gonna talk real quick. Um, yesterday I mentioned the UK Wet Society Shave, um, uh, Piff Around or Pithathon type deal. And I already selected my UK person. I contacted him, <clears throat> him, well, title was last night for me, today for him. And he agreed, and that's uh, Craig Barrington. Uh, just somebody who I've always, uh, not always, but since I started getting really active in the group, somebody I talk to, respect, enjoy his videos a lot, um, and just, he's just a good chap, you know, guy just, uh, it always seems really positive, even when things kind of go bad, you know, he still, uh, seems to be enjoying himself, so just somebody who I really enjoy talking to and watching, and I know he does a lot for the group, uh, making sure it runs and stuff, so I figured why not pick him and so he knows roughly what i'm sending um he just doesn't know exactly the sense he just told me to surprise him so i will do exactly that and i'll probably get that out later this week if not early next week definitely get you get that minty kind of smell on this one and then there's some little sweetness to it there's some and it's lathered up really nice and easy and add some water to it I smelt some of the Meissner while I was there, and they did have some very, very interesting scents. I'll be doing a head shave too. I use my Schick injector as always. A little more, and I'll be done. I'm not going to go too much with this. I think sometimes we go a little too far with uh, building the lather where it becomes more about volume which in effect it's some adding more water other it's adding more air and so I'm trying to find a, just a good decent middle point my 
brush water. Let's get this blade warmed up and as usual the ammo block ready. Change things up a little bit, go to the other side. No real reason. Got a new soap coming in, hopefully today. Of a yet to be released soap that I um, was lucky enough to get in to be a tester of. Assuming that arrives, I'll probably be using it for a week straight. That way I can try it with uh, different bl uh, brushes, things like that. Of course, the catch with that is it's uh, may or may not be the released formula. Not a bad first pass, not my greatest, my best. Feels really good over here, this side. Neck, yeah, neck could use some more, plenty more. It's definitely my uh, lightest razor. But the Meissner really felt nice. I really dig the smell. It's, it's definitely minty. It has a nice kind of like a little bit of a cooling effect. Never had Indian food. Um, keep saying I want to try it. But I know, uh, just talking to people who like Indian food, they always tell me, you gotta make sure you find the right restaurant or else one would be taste bad, but then it could be bad. So I've yet to ever go. That's it.
It's not like a, a huge cooling effect. Just it's very subtle. Don't freak out by the thinness of the ladder. That was uh, pretty much by design, but like I said, not trying to create as much volume. does appear to be a thinner lather but the one I did last night had a lot more volume to it. do a third pass with this one it's a very it's a very light razor so I feel it's it almost makes it sort of mild so it always seems to struggle a little bit I say always like I've been doing it forever but the shades I've had with it incorporate that water that I just added might have actually added too much water. So I definitely have a little bit of work to do on dialing in the soap. It's kind of falling up on this pass. It seems to be actually falling apart a little bit. And I've seen plenty of people use it and get killer results. So obviously it's, it's operator error. And there's still plenty on here just, uh, It's plenty slick enough.
and I'm really digging the scent. So, my hand. Yeah, even though it's thinning out, it's still slick enough to give me a good shave. But that's also what I get for trying to change my uh, way I load. So I'm going to clean up and I'll be right back and talk in a minute. All right, I'm back. Uh, head shave done. I went back to the puck for a little bit more and got a much better lather. I still did find the lather to be a little airy um, or bubbly, I guess you could say, small bubbles, but obviously probably operator air, but that's just my first observation. I did use some lemon witch hazel uh, on my face and my head as I was cleaning up. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and use the Fou Fou Gier. Um, overall, I was extremely impressed by the scent. Performance, I thought, was when it came to slickness, was really good. I really enjoyed that. Um, it was just the lather stability was my only issue. And that was, like I said, I'm, I'm guessing it, it's operator error because I've seen other people use it. Either that or it just maybe not doesn't agree with my extreme hard water. Ooh, a burn there today. Um, overall shave, not my best. This razor doesn't, uh, hasn't given me great shaves. It's obviously done serviceable, but uh, it's not one that I'm, I'm going to reach for a whole lot. It'll be probably so far the Wedge, the Fontana, and the uh, the Toa. This is a three. I might break out the gold dollar here in a few days just to see how that shaves compared now that my techniques got done a lot better. But overall, Meisner, like I said, fairly impressed. Um, as I've got to dial it in more. Um, obviously, my Brad Sear brush, I love it. Aftershave feels really good. And that's it. Uh, tomorrow, hopefully, I'll have that new soap. If not, then I'll probably do one of the uh, Beaver Woodwright soaps. So God bless everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.